Welcome to ProStitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to set up a wrapped edge-to-edge -edge design. So let's take a look here on the screen and I'll walk you through the steps. First, we want to open our design. So we select our File tab, Design, Open. Then I want to choose a design that's going to wrap. And the Baptist fan is a great one for this. We want to fill in those edges all the way around. Next, I'll set up an area. Now for an edge to edge, I'm going to go to the top left corner of my frame, of my quilt, the top left corner, select my area tab, and tap to corner. Then I'll move my machine over to the bottom right corner of my frame, uh, of my quilt, and tap to corner again. I'll touch my refresh button, and then over here in the sidebar, I can actually change the height of my quilt. This is actually a 40 by 40 quilt, so I'll type in 40 here and do enter. You, of course, will enter the measurements of your actual quilt. All right, we'll touch the refresh button, and next we need to repeat this design. So let's select the repeat tab. We have basic selected first. We'll tap horizontal and then touch fill. And this fills the design with as many designs as can fit inside the area. You can see that we need to add a few more because I definitely want this to go all the way to the edges. So let's add one more set of repeats horizontally. And then vertically, let's add another, oops, I adjusted the gap. Actually, I want to do another repeat. But then I do want to adjust my gap. I want the gap between the designs. I'm going to touch my minus button here. I want to move those designs closer together so that that gap matches the gap between the two designs. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like the way it looks, but I want to fill this up all the way um, so that all these extra edges around are filled. So we're going to use our wrap feature and choose horizontal first. And in the window button, we'll touch half. And you can see how that has filled out horizontally clear to the edges. And I have a lot of start and stops here. I can tap the edges button and it cleans those up. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on vertical. Once again in the window button, I'll touch half. And you can see that that fills it. It didn't quite fill it all the way to the top, which means I can go back to basic and touch stretch under vertical and it will make it fill that window completely. My design looks great. I'm ready to go ahead and start stitching. So remember, you always want to baseline first. I recommend that you save an edge to edge before you start stitching and then go ahead and stitch out your design. And that's how we wrap an edge to edge design. 